What's up guys, Tyler here from DC Bronzies and today I'm going to be going over what I believe are the top 10 best baits for smallmouth bass. First off, I just want to mention that I fish for smallmouth on Lake Michigan using um, all of these baits and honestly it doesn't matter where you fish, it can be on a river, lake, on the Great Lakes, anywhere you fish for smallmouth these baits are going to work, um, some better than others but for the most part they'll be extremely effective. So I'm going to start um, with my favorite bait actually, um, one that I believe is probably the most underrated bait um, in smallmouth fishing. Um, I'm not going to be going in any particular order in these top 10 baits, but um, these are just 10 that I think are really effective and essential to have in your box when you're fishing for smallmouth, um, you know, whether it be on a river or a lake. So first one I'm going to talk about is just a standard Senko. Um, here I've got a Yum Dinger 4-inch um, Senko in Junebug color and um, basically how I like to fish these um, on Lake Michigan is I usually like to wacky rig them and then um, just throw them out let them sink so that those ends of the worm just flutter um, as it sinks down in the water column and I really feel like that's a great way for the bass to just key in on that bait and um, Ultimately, I feel like the success rate is a lot better than if you were to Texas rig that bait. And so that's definitely one of my favorite ways to fish for uh, smallmouth um, using a Senko. Alright, second bait that I like to fish um, for smallmouth is a crankbait. And um, I've got a couple different crankbaits, but one right here is the Rapala DT series crankbait. The um, thing I like about this is on Lake Michigan, a lot of the fish like to sit um, deeper um, towards the bottom. so because they'll be feeding on um, fish like gobies and uh, maybe even crayfish. So this is a great tool to get down to those fish um, and get them to bite. And then also here I've got another crankbait I like to use and that's a Berkeley Fire Tiger as well as um, a Rapala Rip and Wrap lipless crankbait. These can be really good because um, you can fish those deep towards the bottom, let them sink down and then just give it some rips let it sink. Um, that's also really effective to catch those bass. Um, third effective bait that I'm going to go over for smallmouth would be a jerk bait. Um, got a couple different types here as well. Here's just a Rapala Husky Jerk um, and then just a uh, another Husky Jerk with a jointed body and a deeper lip. Um, these are really good for bass that are suspended. Um, give these crank, uh, these uh, jerk bait, excuse me, a couple jerks, and um, that's just really effective. Jerk it, let it sit. Um, you can get a lot of bites on that for those bass. Fourth bait that I'm going to be going over is a tube. Um, any kind of tube, especially on Lake Michigan, that's uh, pumpkin green color for um, bass, kind of imitates that goby on the bottom. Um, I just like to use like a tube jig head and um, jerk that off the bottom, um, jump it between rocks. Um, that'll trigger a strike um, from smallmouth really quick. Fifth bait on my list would be a Ned Rig. Right here I just got the Z-Man um, 10 times tough um, finesse TRDs and basically I just like to use those almost like a tube um, except rigged on this little Ned Rig head. Um, Basically, you just let that sink down to the bottom and just jerk it off the bottom um, and that'll trigger some bass to strike as well. And the sixth bait that I'm really big on is just a drop shot. Um, I like to use um, these Kalen's um, weenie worms um, and then also you can use a poor boy Erie darter um, to imitate anything in the water um, that the fish might be feeding on. That's really effective because it gets down in the water column right down towards the bottom and you can get that nice movement on your uh, soft plastic. Um, yeah. And the seventh bait that I like to use is a spy bait. Basically what a spy bait does is you throw it out, let it sink and you count it down. It sinks about um, a foot a second and uh, you can get that down to wherever depth that you're looking for, wherever you know where the fish are and then just take a slow, slow retrieve back and uh, that's effective as well. And the eighth bait um, that's effective for smallmouth bass is a spinnerbait. Um, 
I haven't had quite as much success on a spinnerbait um, in the deeper waters of Lake Michigan, but this is an all-around good bait. It works, it's proven to work, and um, it can catch your fish. The ninth bait for smallmouth bass is um, actually a slip bobber. Um, obviously, using a uh, live bait, I usually use night crawlers, but um, I think slip bobbers are really underrated. Um, they, um, it's really, they're really easy to fish. I like fishing with live bait. Um, I've caught countless fish on night crawlers. Um, it'll definitely be one of my favorite ways to fish for bass, although, you know, sometimes the waiting game isn't very exciting, but usually it works really well. And the last bait I'll be going over today is just a curly tail grub. Um, here, this isn't a very good color. Um, I definitely do something more natural, like a brown or pumpkin green, um, and probably something a little bigger as well. But those grubs work really well when you just want to swim, swim them um, at any depth. Um, also, what I don't have right now is a swim bait. Um, that can be also another really good um, technique to use to catch fish, those uh, soft plastic swim baits. This about wraps up the video for today, guys. Um, I just want to thank you for watching, and um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up um, if that was helpful. And then also comment down below if there are any baits that I missed or any baits that you like to use for uh, smallmouth bass. Um, and then also subscribe if you'd like to see some more content in the future. And um, I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of DC Brown.